Good morning, y'all. We made it to the cruise terminal um, here in Galveston. It is embarkation day, and I am so excited. Um, we are going on the Carnival Breeze today. Um, I've never been on the Carnival Breeze. I've been on the Dream and the Magic, which this is supposed to be the same uh, class of ship. So the Breeze just came back from Spain last week. Um, it's been on one sailing for four days, and we are the second sailing since it has been redone. So I'm very excited to see it, the new paint job, what they've done on the inside, um, and I'm gonna show all of that to y'all as well. So we are the first group to board at 10 a.m. from 10 to 10.30. It is 10.02 now, so we're about to get this show on the road. All right, first thing I notice is as you're walking in, you have to have your boarding pass out to make sure that uh, you're coming in at the right check-in time and that you're going through the terminal as somebody that's actually getting on the ship. Um, next thing I've noticed is this is the first time I've been since COVID. Well, you don't have to wear a mask in the terminals anymore. Okay, so we made it through security um, or through that whole process and it was really seamless super easy uh, probably the best one I've been through and I don't know if it's because we're the first boarding group or not but uh, really easy process the problem is because we're the first boarding group the previous sailing hasn't finished unboarding disembarking disembarking um, so we are having to now sit and wait for that to happen and then to get ready for us um, but it's not crowded at all it was never a wait you just walk straight through um, everybody was super friendly. It uh, was really nice. <laughs> I need to see a dolphin. There's got to be a dolphin. And there's a new paint job. There's our girl. So the last crew said that there was some issues with internet. So I hope those guys down there are uh, fixing that. So close. We're so close. Okay, here we go. Let's go see what's going on over here. I'm looking for a bar. Not really. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Woo! I don't know what to do with my hands. And this one, this guy in front of us, he works at the Red Frog Roman Bar. He's probably going to be my friend at some point. These four. Why can't my muster station be in the casino? Okay, quick, quick. This is the new casino with a casino bar, and I'll come back to it in a little bit. Um, but this is brand new. They just added this to the Carnival Breeze. Really kind of like this ship. Then when you get tired of walking, you got these little benches on the sides for me. Whew, those are going to come in handy later. Morning. Okay. I'm still lost. <laughs> okay, we're lazy apparently, and everybody's going up the stairs, and I'm going to go up the elevator. Oh, well. Oh, hi. Hi, Freddy. But there's supposed to be a bunch more of you. <laughs> There's like 15 of them. I'm going to keep on you. you got to get together so I can get all of y'all yeah. on camera with your shirts. <laughs> right. yeah, but I'm really disappointed in the, the water and stuff. Water? Actually, are, okay. No, I'm like, I thought y'all got tea. I'm like, uh, no. you can't be wearing those shirts and just be having tea. Monsters. Okay. Monsters. Yeah. Monsters. Yeah. And where do I get that? At the bar on the Lido. On the Lido. We're on our way. All right. So muster station is done. We came up to deck 10 which is the marketplace on the Lido deck to um, grab a bite to eat. But then we met some friends and they talked me into going to the bar instead. And so now we've got the friendship drink, uh, which is the drink of the day. I'm sorry, it's called the fun ship drink, drink of the day. Now I gotta try it again apparently. It's really good. I think it's the same as a rum punch, um, but anyway, it's 
still really good. I can't wait to meet our friends again. Um, it is Cinco de Mayo, so they all had Cinco de Mayo shirts on, and they were super fun group. I think there's a bunch of them, too, so um, we're going to get with them later once they've had a couple drinks in. All right, so here's the problem that I see right now. First, my hair is kind of jacked up. Second, we decided not to eat breakfast before we came on the ship because the food here is free. And so we had decided we would uh, come on and we would just go straight to the buffet. But then we met friends and the friends talked us into going to the bar instead of the buffet. So it is now 11.49 a.m. And uh, I still haven't eaten. But I finished this in like five minutes and whew, they're not they're not playing with that. Wow. So we've come out here to the deck 10 pool deck and they are having a party out here. Now thank you. Ooh. There's your water slides, waterworks, and a pool. Let's go, and you got the uh, blue iguana tequila bar and the red frog rum bar on this side. So it's five o'clock somewhere, right? All right, so deck 10 is a party, and I hear music coming from that direction somewhere so we're gonna go check that out and see what's going on down there this is a barbecue joint on board and I do believe this is included this is guys pig and anchor and here is a menu let's go right over here and check it out let's see if it's ready oh my goodness Wow. Hi y'all! Hi! Is this included in... Oh my gosh! Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, I do want the mac and cheese. Wow. And, uh, let's see. I do want the smoked beef. And I, I really think that's it. I just want a little something. No, that's plenty. Thank you. Okay, my mind is blown because the guy's pig and anchor barbecue, which smells amazing, looks amazing, on deck five of the Carnival Breeze, he is included in the in the price. This is a I didn't get very much because I'm not that hungry right now. Um, oh my gosh, I can't wait to try it though. So I'm sitting here eating and, and part of what I want to showcase is um, how amazing the service is on a cruise. The last cruise we went on, the service was good. I wouldn't say it was 100% great. So far we are on Carnival Breeze and so far I have been very impressed. Maybe it's because I have a camera, I don't know, but they are coming to us non-stop talking and uh, wanting to serve us super friendly waving saying hi uh, you know um, amazing service so far so y'all tell me comment below uh, all of you youtubers or vloggers or whoever that carries a camera when they go places you notice you get better service like that people see the camera and suddenly they want to be your friend I'm not that popular, but I'll take it. Who else has had that, uh, noticed that friend? We need two of the cruisers. Perfect, thank you. I'm 
not real sure what it is, but it feels good, bad. All right, so one of the um, questions I get all the time is what do you wear for dinner? So on the first night, because it's been such a long day, I go casual typically the first night and I've got a little Hawaiian shirt on and just some jeans and then I throw on um, just some little wedges to dress it up a little bit. But that's it. That's what I'm wearing to dinner tonight. All right. So it is time for dinner. It is like 5.45, my time dining is what I have, and that's from 5.30 to 9 p.m. and you just check in on the app. So once you get on the ship, you download the Carnival app, uh, the Carnival Hub, you connect to the Wi-Fi. Even if you didn't buy the, the any kind of internet plan, you can still connect to the ship's Wi-Fi for the hub purposes only. Um, and you check in on the app and then they send you a message saying your table is ready and it they've sent us our message it was under a 10 minute wait and i am ready to eat so let's go get this started very approachable not too happy Alright, so it's dinner time. I'm gonna try to be quiet not to interrupt anybody else's meals. But I have the salmon and mashed potatoes and vegetables. And I wasn't gonna video while I was in here, but I just wanna tell you these mashed potatoes are amazing. So, so good. And the salmon is perfect. Because. because you got that. Oh, 
has been an amazing day. Embarkation day on Carnival Breeze has been the best embarkation day I've ever had. Getting on board was a breeze. Once we got on board, food was amazing. Options were amazing. Then the sail away party was top of the line. Best thing I've ever seen, uh, especially post COVID was amazing. Then we went to the um, Welcome Aboard Entertainment at the theater. Again, excellent. Cookie, the cruise director was, I mean, just his energy is amazing. And then you have, um, right after that, they did some music show. Again, excellent. And then after that, we went to the um, comedy club Punchliner very good so all in all embarkation day has been amazing 10 for 10 recommend this um i have been a super big fan of royal caribbean uh but i am i am really impressed with carnival and their whole first day sale so i'll i'll be interested to see how the rest of this cruise goes but right now carnival is like my top right now so that does it for day one Tomorrow we, we will uh, be back with our sea day. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we will see y'all tomorrow. Good night. Good night.